Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at Microsoft's Trackball Optical and the Trackball Explorer. Let's have a look at the Trackball Optical first. As you can see here, this one has the wheel the, or the ball on the thumb. You have one two, three, and the scroll, four, and five buttons here. And of course you can configure these buttons uh, to any kind of configuration. Something very interesting about these as well is that the actual balls do actually, be, you can remove them for cleaning. And inside of here is the optic. Very precise again and on the bottom of course there is only really grip pads here to keep this nice and secure on your desk this like many products these days come in USB or you could use the PS2 connector with this one as well Going on to the other one here, we have the Trackball Explorer. This one has a really neat looking design. The ball, instead of on the thumb, is right here. You have one, two, and the scroll, three, four, and five buttons. Again, these buttons are customizable and the ball right here again, which can be removed. And of course, this one is optic as well. And on the bottom side, again, there's nothing really down here except some nice pads to really keep this firmly seated on your desktop. I've been using these both of these for quite some time now, the last couple of weeks, and I do find that I prefer this one more so than this one right here. The reason being, I find this one a little hard on the center part of my arm here after some time using it. This one here is very, very easy to use, very accurate and I do like this one, prefer the trackball optic over the Explorer. The prices on these actually vary. This one here is a little more affordable than uh, this one here. Let me now actually show you how these are connected into the motherboard. Again, very, very simple to install. It's really plug and play. Simply just find your USB port and plug it in very simple or if you do not have a USB port you can use the supplied USB to PS2 connector and again that is very very simple to connect and once that's done of course you would then go to the computer system and plug it into the correct mouse port and it will work perfectly. Let me now plug in both of these trackballs so you can see the optic and how it does shine around the ball here on both of these products. This is the trackball optical and you can see the laser, which is the optic laser, does glow actually around the ball. And it's, it's in a sleep mode now. And if you actually touch the ball, of course, it will move the cursor on your screen. And also, it will brighten here as well. Let me now plug the Trackball Explorer in and have a look at that product. This is the Microsoft Trackball 
Explorer as well you can see that the optic is shining through and illuminating the inside of the ball of course right now it's not being in use if you move it of course it will brighten a little and as I mentioned before either one of these track balls you can remove the balls for cleaning both Microsoft track balls are two very interesting products they do work very well very easy to install these on almost any computer system whether your system has USB or PS2 I have a personal preference I prefer the track ball optical over the trackball explorer now the explorer is the silver one and that's the one that has the ball where you would use your two or three fingers uh, right here on your right hand now I found after three four hours of using the explorer I found this part of my arm right here did tend to get a little strained and I had actually to stop using it again I am not used to using this type of product. I am also using the regular mouse so going from a regular mouse to something like this it does take a little bit of practice to really get it down. I did prefer and I really really liked the trackball optical. In saying all that I give the trackball optical an eight and a half out of ten and the explorer I give a seven out of ten. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back in a few days. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to check out my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, check out the forums. Until the next time, take care.